episodes 316, study session 6, patterns of poiku socialization, introduction. The main focus of this lecture is to examine some key categories that could be used to distinguish in terms of comparison between the different patterns of the socialization process. The first section of this lecture focuses on two of these categories, while the second also discusses two other categories. Learning outcomes. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to identify and distinguish between the agencies of political socialization for the purpose of comparison. Two, you should be able to describe the scope or time span of political socialization socialization agencies and process. The agencies of political socialization are the institutions through which the political culture of a society or political community is transmitted. The most prominent of these include the family, schools, and other educational institutions or learning centers, voluntary and peer groups, mass media, that is the press, and governmental agencies. For ease of reference, all these agencies can broadly be classified as primary and secondary agencies. The primary agency refers mainly to the family, which can also be subdivided into nuclear and extended. On the other hand, the secondary agencies refer to those relatively formal and extra familiar institutions in which a child moves from childhood to adulthood. The most prominent secondary agency is probably the school. Other secondary agencies include associational, that is pair group, occupational, and professional groups. The primary and secondary institutions are regarded as agencies of political socialization because in both types of institutions, the individual comes across authority patterns, social relationships, symbols, and ideas, which invariably influence his attitudes towards political objects, values, and institutions. Subaru 2004, page 27. For example, we can argue that an individual's attitude towards public figures, institutions, and authority in general is most probably a function of the type of relationship he had with his parents or guidance when he was growing up. Another conceptual category that has been used to distinguish between different patterns of political socialization is process. Political sociologists and behavioralists, particularly in the field of comparative studies, have argued that political socialization process may be latent or manifest. While latent socialization is more often associated with the primary agency of socialization, that is the family, manifest socialization is more often associated with secondary agencies. Thus, it can be said that latent political socialization entails the implicit and informal transmission of political symbols, values, norms, and ideas through the family. Manifest political socialization, on the other hand, involves the purposive, intentional, explicit, overt or conscious teaching and learning of political symbols and ideas through the school, mass media, voluntary and occupational and professional associations, agencies of government, and political parties. In brief, we have in this section attempted to distinguish between the patterns of political socialization by using two categories, agencies, and process. These in themselves could be useful for the purpose of comparison. Take, for example, as an analytical or conceptual category. Agencies enable us to distinguish between primary and secondary institutions of political socialization. The primary agency is the family, in which a child is formally introduced to ideas, values, and symbols within his or her environment, while secondary agencies refer to such extra-familiar institutions of socialization as the school, mass media, and political parties. On the other hand, 
The process of socialization can either be latent or manifest. Parical socialization is latent when it is largely informal and takes place through the family, that is the primary agency, while it is manifest when it is consciously and explicitly undertaken by such secondary agencies as the schools, mass media, or political parties. Time span and change. Now we'll briefly examine and explain two final analytical categories to differentiate between patterns of political socialization, time span, and change. Ultimately, they are also adaptable for the purpose of comparison. Time span simply refers to the specific period of phase at which socialization takes place in an individual's life. Therefore, the time span of socialization may involve an individual's childhood or formative years, or on the other hand, his adulthood or years of maturity, or both. Political socialization, or the entire socialization process through the primary agency, that is family, is not only latent, but also most often occur in the formative years of an individual. On the other hand, socialization through secondary agencies tends to be manifest and most often occurs during an individual's relatively mature years. The final analytical category, change seeks to illustrate the structural consequences of political socialization on the polity or political system. Political change refers to a fundamental or far-reaching transformation in the distribution or exercise of authority in the political system. On the other hand, relatively insignificant or incremental changes in the patterns of political participation and association, which do not alter or upset the existing distribution or exercise of power or authority in the polity, can be described as a non systemic change. Generally speaking, political socialization is a stabilizing process and hardly produces sudden or systemic change. The process of socialization becomes destabilizing or produces systemic change only under conditions of rapid modernization, transformation, or general societal crisis. Briefly, our discussion in this section of the lecture centers on the concepts of time span and change as analytical platforms for understanding the various patterns of political socialization, and this may be in the formative childhood or mature adulthood stages of an individual's development or life. Change refers to the consequences of political socialization on the patterns of authority within the polity. Political socialization can produce systemic or non-systemic change, while the former refers to a sudden fundamental or far-reaching change in the polity, the latter refers to a minor or incremental political change. Study Session Summary In this lecture, we attempted to differentiate between the various forms of patterns of political socialization through the use of some conceptual or analytic categories and platforms. These are namely agencies, process, time span, and change. The ultimate aim is to make these conceptual categories adaptable to comparative analysis. End of study session six. Thank you for listening.